Hello, my name is Richard Fink. I'm with Movie Web. How are you doing today? Hey, Richard. How are you? I'm good. I'm doing great. I just wanted to say, first of all, uh, congratulations on the movie. Uh, congratulations on finally being able to talk about it. You know, they. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's, yeah, it's been fun. <laughs> they they I, they kept your character in the marketing, you know, they just completely out of the marketing. So I'm, I'm just curious as to how the whole experience for you was, like having to kind of keep it a secret until the day of release. Yeah, no, it was um, it was annoying because yeah, I kind of wanted to like talk. I mean, it was annoying not being able to like tell um, like my friends and stuff, you know, kind of what uh, only a cl cl close few like really wanted no one to know and that's something that is just so easy it's like you can't beat around the bush there you either like get to say i have a secret character um and not say anything because you can't just like kind of say ghost <laughs> you know what i mean so yeah it was i understood why you know they wanted to do that um and it was kind of more fulfilling you know afterwards but i i did want to be like yeah i just played a ghost like this is crazy um but yeah now i get to talk about myself all around wherever I want to go, I can just talk about myself, which is great. I love doing that. Was there a lot of messages Finally. from friends afterwards being like, oh my God, you're in Ghostbusters or you're yeah. a ghost? You're a ghost, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I was, you know, I saw it at the screening um, at the premiere in New York for the first time I saw the movie, but I also saw myself as a ghost, see-through blue flame person, Melody, that I, you know, I'd never seen myself like that, like on set, you know, because I just, I'm not actually a ghost, sorry. I just <laughs> never actually ghost. Um, don't tell anyone. But yeah, it was really cool to see for the first time with everyone who made it. Yeah, because I, I read somewhere that like you had mentioned that you had done, it, there was an emotion capture for this. So you were just filming on set as normal um, mm -hmm. and you never got to see any like concept art for what your ghost character would look like. That, your, that was really your first time seeing it? Oh no, it's like, I knew what it was gonna be because, you know, Gil, we have long talks and he has so many drawings. He's like amazing and sketches of Melody and who she is exactly down to like the T, but it wasn't, I mean, it was drawings and all of that stuff. But he wanted me to be um, kind of blissfully unaware of the visual effects that were going to happen. So I could play it, um, you know, not be um, hung up on what, you know, it's, it's just to be, you know, and not be thinking about the special effects at all um, to be more natural. Because, um, you know, Melody, the most important thing I think was that she's a ghost, but she's such a human, you know, she's such a human heart and like a human character. Um, so, so yeah, that was the first time I saw it. Yeah, it's crazy. It's definitely a, a different ghost for the franchise. I mean, was that, was there any like pressure on you in that regard of like bringing something new to the new to Ghostbuster in terms of how the audience sees Ghost? Yeah, I mean, I didn't even realize that kind of until, I guess, uh, middle of filming. I was having a conversation with Jason about that. And I think he said something that's like something about, yeah, you should be worried. These Ghostbusters fans, like they they don't like you. They'll tell you, and I'm like, you wrote it. And like, <laughs> like can you make me likable then? Um, <laughs> um, I want them to like me. I didn't know what to expect, but everyone was really, really cool. It was kind of scary, but I think it worked out. <laughs> I mean, it, it, I think it did work out very well. Now, one quick last question. Um, you know, you kind of have a history with horror and uh, this is horror, Jason. I'm just curious, what are your what are your favorite horror movies or scary movies? Mm, horror, okay. I would say scary movies. I really like thrillers, to be honest. I'm super into, 80s 90s kind of um skin flick like thrillers like i i, I like um uh, hand that rocks the cradle which has ernie by the way and i was such a fan of um when i was younger i like i like body double i like um some reference oh who i got so many movies it's so hard to think about right now play misty for me i like um yeah, I'm just into that kind of genre, you know, like that thriller genre. Do you have any any for me that I should watch? I mean, I can't think of any off the top of my head. I was just curious as to your personal favorites, and those are those are some good ones. I'm gonna have to check those out. One. Yeah, I have a letterbox. I'm thinking about making it um, public soon. I'm just nervous because it's like scary, you know. People are like, oh god. Well, yeah, you get 
tastes are so, you know, they say a lot about a person. So <laughs> <laughs> you'd get a lot of subscribe, a lot of people interested in your opinions for sure. Oh, but, okay. <laughs> em Emily, thank you so much for sitting down to talk with us. Really appreciate yeah, it. I love okay. movie web. Oh, thank you so much. We appreciate that. Yeah. You have, uh, so have a lovely day. And again, congratulations on the movie. All right. Thanks, Richard. Bye.